Welcome back to Control. Now that we've finished the east area, it's time to head west from... What's this area called? No one thinks they're weird. Uh, well, west from Active Investigations. I had the game paused because for some reason Langston is restarting their huge monologue here at the elevator, even though we already heard the whole thing. Really aren't that frightening. Let's try to get out of range. Oh, thank God. Right, we're heading for the Eagle Limited Altered World event. They're so fucking cute. They really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them Ooh. off, then there's nothing to worry about. I there's a chest down there. We're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. Please stop talking. We be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't explore this area. Not with them talking. I gotta leave. Jesus Christ. I think I blew up my friend, sorry. crack. Hey, Hartman. I want that light.
director faded. I require backup at this location. Make way for the director. <laughs> Damn quick service. Thank you, Ranger. Oh no, I don't want to, oh fuck. <laughs> I just realized summoning a ranger and using these uh, charges, not a great combination. Yeah, let's not summon anybody. Actually going in here. That's not open. That's not open. Did I miss something? That just goes back. Is there a button or something? Ah, oh, try to hide from me. Give me your, I'm sure, useless contents. Launch ground slam boost. I don't care, just like 99% of the other mods. But it's still satisfying to find them. I really do wish the contents were more interesting, though. There's almost never anything useful in them. Oh! This is what I'm missing. Yeah, you can get on top and then access this area through a window. Brain missing. It's a dead letter. To the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took part in my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else, too. That's where you trick us, regular people. Now I don't know which it is, and I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business.
Oh, hey. Springs screenplay page two. We found page three, but I didn't read it because we didn't find page two. So where did we leave off page one? Uh, director, it's ready when I say it's ready, doctor, scientist, but the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Page two. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. Director, all the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. That's weirdly specific. Interior, unknown dimension, night. Scientist. What have you done? You've doomed us. Director. Control yourself, doctor. Where's this beast of yours? Scientist. Right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Director. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. Director. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Scientist. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing like the coward that he is. Entity, subtitled. I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Scientist. Sir? Sir? We have to escape. Director. We cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. I oh, can't wait to see where that goes. What a great screenplay. Oh, right. Why am I bothering with a shotgun? No AC, no mold spore circulation. But it might get a bit stuffy in here. <laughs> True. I love how self-aware the dialogue is. It just feels very down-to-earth and real. Wait a minute. I didn't blow that one up. I didn't need to. That's weird. Don't like that. Tons of mutilated bodies and lots and lots of batteries and battery slots. I think this is some sort of battery puzzle. Christ! Did the Hartman thing do all this? It's like their jaws missing. Did it rip off their jaws? Yeah, it's the same for all of them. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, this is two wires going to it and another battery behind it. So I think we need that one. 
that one plus that one. but some extras. Oh, that has a lot of connections. Okay. They're kind of color-coded. Not kind of. They're absolutely color-coded. So I don't actually need to trace them. I think I just need to do the blue ones. Do we actually have five, uh, four batteries, though? One, two... Wait. One, two, three... I think we only have three. Yeah, I need a fourth one. Uh, and what do you know? It takes three red ones to get this one, and then I'll have four. Okay, all the red ones. Where's the third red one? It's kind of hard to tell orange from red in the dark light. I probably thought orange was red, like this one. I thought it was orange, but no, this, I guess this one's red too? That's definitely orange. Like 100%. But that's the one that goes over there, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Mita? Or is the problem that none of them is red? They're all orange. They're all orange. I put them all in the wrong ones. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. That was actually right. Now the blue ones. of any of that? Oh. I just need to open it with the two yellow ones. Please don't be a song. Please don't. Good, it's not a song. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. What happened that made them make that message? That's what I want to know. I can squeeze in there.
Actually, how many skill points do I have? Really just three? Dang, I want to get this um, eight for this. Hold and launch up to three objects. Energy now recovers while holding launch objects. I really want that. Lots of dark corners to hide in. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear him out. Oh! They just it running off to now. Just cleared away through that stuff. Just like opened it. <laughs> Investigate the train altered item. Yeah. All aboard. Maybe let's explore everything else first. Secrets. It's only one mobile lab? Oh, there's darkness. Oh, there's light over here. at there. Is that a big light or is that the sky? I 
I guess a light? my energy back. I see something across over there. Here's the final one. Got a unique mod and also Achti postcard, I think it said. What was the weapon mod? Custodial readiness. Shot charge time minus 100. Exclusive to pierce. Wait, minus 100. 100 what? Percent? Is it instant? No, definitely not instant, but it is, like, I don't know, twice as fast. That is so good. I am 100% using that. 100%. I wasn't liking the shotgun I, uh, anyway. Yeah, let's take that damage boost off of that thing. What do we want for Pierce? Just damage, damage? Yeah, let's give it the 69%. And then the 60%. Right, you don't have to charge it up all the way to actually use it, but it won't do as much damage if you don't let it charge, I assume. Sweet, back to the pierce. Oh, yeah, the postcard. Oh, the postcard. Ah! Greetings from Watery Washington, America's Little Finland. This. A crazy person works hard and a wise person gets away with less. Happy vacation to me. Oh, the. <laughs> Perhaps we should go up here before the train as well. I really want to know what I'm dealing with, as much as possible. Before I literally go inside of an altered item. Eagle Limited Supplement. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of a paracriminal group known as which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by Agent resulted in a suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food, in breach of the Paracriminal Rights Act. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. Yeah, we saw that other... Uh, that other article talking about how they'd been pulled off of the case and not allowed to interrogate the suspect. Also, not allowed to torture the suspect, because that is what was done. Hmm. 
Whoa. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Potatoes, broccoli, and steak. I'm supposed to examine them in a certain order, like this one mentioned the food. Good evening, all you fine looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. And then dinner being served, perhaps? And what was this? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited. This would be the first thing they hear. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Okay, let's say that's first, and then maybe the music, and then the dinner? Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. The crash would be last. Yeah, I think it's... Everyone, stay in your seat. Hold on. Well, this is a stressful amount of noises, and I couldn't activate the hammer correctly because it was still playing. Oops. I know I can just try to use this door, and maybe that's what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to try it one more time when I can activate everything, which is now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and evening, welcome aboard you, the Eagle okay. Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets Two, ready and enjoy the ride. Everyone, hold on! Okay, I don't think that worked. Well, that was chaotic. Felt like it was trying to tell me something. I wonder if I can make sense of it. Hmm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in.
Aha. Yeah. I don't know if you have to actually play them back to back, but they at least need to be in the right order. It's not quite like just the first one and the second one, the other side, other side. Um, yeah, a little bit different than that. It's this and they mention the tickets, please. Like, please have your tickets ready. And then this one is where they actually stamp the tickets. And then it's the music, then the dinner, then whole, everybody hold on and then train crashing. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. Yeah, oh my god, is the train traumatized? Poor thing. Mm, that's not what we just got. Was it this? We got some sort of mod. I think it was a weapon mod. Oh, I wasn't sorting by newest. It was this. One way track. Projectile spread minus 100. So it makes all your shots go in one place. Damn. Yeah, that really is all in one place. Curious how much damage that equals out to. I'm gonna keep it and try it. What missions do we have now? All right, we still need to find a copy machine. No, containment is nothing. So just copy machine and then the main quest. Actually, is the copy machine listed? Like where it is? Yeah, operations center. Hmm. Let's go do that right now. Oh, well, operations center, let's try out the shotgun. Not amazing. Like, watch, I'm sure uh, Pierce is going to be so much better. Yeah, so much better. Oh my god. I didn't know what that noise was at first. machine this certainly feels familiar utility corridor abandoned offices and observation deck Let's do abandoned offices first. That's one cent. Two down, one to go. Oh, we have something extra to do here. I noticed there's a thing I didn't get that I need to burn off with the light. And there's also something else that's probably a wall that I need to find that's breakable. Oh! Right, that breaks. That's why I wasn't able to melt that. Well, there must be a light further on that I can take back here, right? Yeah.
Alright, the other one is this. You can see there's something in there I can get. But I can't get through here, which means one of the walls must be breakable. Perhaps from in here. we get it from up here? Oh, you can just drop down. Ooh, I missed you back here. Oh, and there's a note too. Actor for hire. Dearest Hollywood. Have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or woman, an adult or child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today's your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens, and I'm the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I will be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and additions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies. Wait, where the heck is this? I was just going to the utility corridor. And I don't think I've actually been here? I know you can't see a damn thing. I can't see a damn thing either. I don't know, I was wandering through the dark up there, and I saw this place from up there, and... Yeah, haven't been here. I think that was the music when we did this, um, I forgot what it was called, but it was in the other, um, DLC. We are writing this thing. I think that was that theme song. Ooh, is that a light? Aha! What can we do it again? <laughs> That'd be cool. Such a cool song. We just mail it in the dark. And that's three. That should take care of any bad karma or whatever. But how did that first letter get in here? I wonder if I could track it to the source. So follow. Follow the tubes. They go here and then they just go on the wall. Like, oh. Oh, wait, that wasn't open before, was it? So you're the one sending out spam mail. <laughs> and that takes care of that. No more superstitious blackmail. 
got a weapon mod. Exclusive to spin. Weapon damage after kills plus 100%. That is pretty massive. But do keep in mind, it's spin. So like, it's not worth much. <laughs> Not that I need that, but I'm going to clear out my mods. Okay, well that's everything but the main quest, so I think this is a good place to end it. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we are going to pursue Hartman.